Welcome to another episode of Wildcat TV on Comcast 15 and AT&T Uverse 99. I'm Hannah Hawks. And I'm Claire Bradshaw. Kiss Week has already started, so with some details on how you can participate, we go to Lauren Ferris. Hey everyone, we know what time of year it is again, and it's that romantic, mushy-gushy, cheesy time. And so this is the beginning of Kiss Week. Today was Dynamic Duo Day, so hopefully you found your twin. Tuesday is Stoplight Day, so if you're single, wear green. If you're talking to someone, wear yellow. And if you're taken, wear red. On Wednesday, you will be given a number and you'll have to find your match. First one at the office gets a prize. Thursday will be Sweetheart Scrabble. Friday, seniors will wear red, juniors you'll wear white, and sophomores wear pink. Make sure to participate and I hope everyone has a fantastic Kiss Week. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Lauren Ferris. Thanks Lauren. We're looking forward to seeing all the school spirit around campus this week. Last week, we told you about Chamber Choir's trip to the Lake of the Ozarks for the Missouri Music Educators Association Convention. Alex Shearing has the follow-up. Hey Wildcats, last week I told you that the Chamber Choir went down to MMEA for a singing event. They ended up having an amazing performance and was the first time that they had been down there since 1986. The Chamber Choir ended up singing six songs, which include From Where I Stood, Oh Clap Your Hands, Jesus Christ, The Apple Tree, Ova Maris Stella, Ponga Lingua, and Good Night, Dear Heart. Congratulations again to the Chamber Choir. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Alex Shearing. Thanks, Alex, and congrats again to Chamber Choir. We know you've all been curious about what the boys of Sweetheart Billy have been up to. We go to Tierra Schwartz for an update. Hey, Wildcats, I'm here in the gym where this Friday it will be packed with students excited to see our school's favorite tradition, the Sweetheart Ballet. I talked to Eric Gunn to see what this year's performance is going to be like. There's a lot of choreography this year in Sweetheart, and I think it'll be one of the best ever. It's really fun. I'm looking forward to the like, tunnel thing, see how that'll go this year in comparison to other years. I think everybody will be looking forward to this new choreography that Remy and Lydia have made. Come out and see it. Good luck, guys. Dance your heart out. Signing off from Wildcat TV, I'm Tiara Swartz. Thanks, Tiara. Looks like it's going to be a great performance. Last week, Wildcat TV was joined by some industry professionals. Reese Pugh has more. Wildcat TV was visited last week by the IKEA Home Tour Squad. On behalf of Wildcat TV, I want to thank Rocky, Jesse, Steph, Robin, and Elizabeth for giving advice for video production and for life in general. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Reese Pugh. Thanks again to the IKEA Home Tour Squad. You're welcome back to Wildcat Studios anytime. We're going to take a quick commercial break to hear a word from our sponsors, but stick around for great date ideas and more on our Kiss Week special. no better place than Lunar Bowl for kids' birthday parties. Lunar Bowl offers a kids' birthday party package for as low as $124.95 for a party of six, which includes two hours of bowling, one topping pizza, or a hot dog and chips, an arcade card, ice cream, soda, and much more. Lunar Bowl can also customize birthday events for adults. Lunar Bowl, located at 2001 Northwest 7 Highway in Blue Springs. To book your party, call 816-220-7722. Having a get-together with friends or getting ready to attend your team's next outing, but you don't have a unique shirt to wear? Come on down to Big Frog, where our staff will help you create the perfect design from thousands of possibilities. First, choose your shirt style from t-shirts, tank tops, fleece, hoodies, or sports shirts. Second, our team of graphic designers will work with you at our in-store design studio to create a custom graphic. And third, you celebrate. Big Frog's advanced printing technology enables you to use an unlimited range of colors in only a 24-hour turnaround. Best of all, our unique printing process uses inks guaranteed to never fade, peel, or crack. There's no minimums. Buy one shirt or 100. So head over to 2100 Jackson Drive in Independence to design your custom t-shirt from Big Frog or get a holiday gift certificate for a friend. Share the fun at Big Frog, where fun is always celebrated. Austin Calvert found out some of the best dates you guys have been on. We go to the story. 
Hey Wildcats, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so I got a chance to go around to our campus and ask students what their ideal of a great date would be, or to ask them the best date they've ever been on. So, what is your ideal date? Laying on the beach. A picnic? A pizza rolls, full tub of ice cream. Um, take me to Petland and play with the puppies. Go karting. Watching baseball and eating pizza. I'm not answering that. Whoa! <laughs> Mini golf. Mini golf? That's lame. Just staying at home and watching movies. So my ideal date would be taking a girl out to a nice restaurant and she picking up the tip and everything. Oh. She paying for it all. I don't know. So anything with anything with me would be acceptable is what you're trying to say. That's yeah. what I thought. All right. Go to a drive-in during the summertime. <laughs> like probably going out with a chick. Uh, yeah. Floating down a river and then capsizing and then I save her life and then I'm the hero. Um, long walks in the beach, getting a foot rub, getting fed lobster, you know. The ideal date is going to a baseball or a football game and just hanging out and having fun. Taking Jackson Canning out. Going on a nice plaza date with Jeff Williams. I just want to watch that date. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Austin Calvert. Oh sure are some interesting dates. If you're looking to better your ACT score, Cassie Paths has some information on how you can get extra help. Hey Wildcats, if you're interested in taking the ACT or any prep classes, here are some important dates. National ACT test dates are April 9th and June 11th. On April 7th, the prep day will be held. Anyone interested can sign up in the counselor's office. April 19th is the mandatory test date for all juniors. Some other ACT opportunities are the semester-long ACT prep class as well as an online prep course. Be sure to take advantage of these upcoming events. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Cassie Pabst. Thanks Cassie, those sound like some really beneficial opportunities. FBLA and DECA have their district competition coming up. Alex Cunningham got insight on how they're preparing. Hey guys, FBLA and DECA are going to be participating in their district competitions this week. FBA will have their districts today in Liberty with 33 members participating. They'll take a variety of tests, and participate in different scenarios. DECA's district competition will be on Thursday at the mall with 93 members participating. They will be competing in scenario role plays and different tests. So good luck to all members of FBLA and DECA. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Alex Cunningham. Good luck to both programs. Last Wednesday was National Signing Day for high school athletes and 10 of our very own seniors signed. Cade Cox attended the signing event. Cade? Hey Wildcats, last Wednesday was National College Signing Day and we had 10 Wildcats commit to college on this big day. Jared LaFowle is going to Drury to play baseball. Luke Miller going to Columbia College for baseball. Jenna Jacoby is going to Avila for track. Lydia Olipio is going to Southwest Baptist for track. Jocelyn Sneed is going to UCM for track. Morgan Hensley committed to K-State for soccer. Jacob Brains is going to Maryville University of St. Louis for swimming. Rayvon Lewis committed to Fort Hayes State for football. Cody Bell is going to UCM for football. And Treston Spruill is going to Benedictine to play football. Senior Cody Bell had a few words to say about his signing. Um, I felt relieved, honestly. It was just great to finally get this whole stressful process out of the way. Glad to be a mule. Congratulations to all the students committing to continue in their academics. I'm Kate Cox, signing off for Wildcat TV. Congrats to our seniors who signed. We're going to take another commercial break, but don't go anywhere. We have a story on how you can save money this Valentine's Day coming up. What I love about Culver's is every time I come in here, they always greet me with a smile, and I'm always happy to be here. The reason I like to work at Culver's is because it's fun, energetic, and I love the people I work with. What I love about Culver's uh, is the energy when you walk in. The employees are always smiling. Um, the custard is delicious. It's always the perfect temperature. Uh, and I like to add a little peanut butter just to add some flavor. So, where are we going? The 8. That's it? So what are we going to do with all this extra money? Snacks!
the air here at Blue Springs High School. Chase Matchell is out roaming the halls looking for the ideal pair. Hey Wildcats, I'm here looking for the Blue Springs High School couple of the week. Let's see what we can find. Come on! Congratulations! You are the couple of the week. How does it feel? Oh my god! This is insane! Hey. What are you guys gonna do now? Uh, make out? <laughs> like, segregated between guys and girls over here. Congratulations! Your couple of the week. How does it feel? I didn't know I had a girlfriend. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> We're gonna go to Disneyland. Here we go, here we go. Pink shirt, pink shirt. Congratulations, you two are the couple of the week. You know, you guys actually are together, right? Yes. Yeah, awesome. We got a couple of the week here at Blue Springs High School. Now, what are you going to do now? Um, stay together. That sounds great. Now, you guys can keep the chocolate, go on a great Valentine's Day date, and uh, yeah, sounds good. So, I'm Chase Matchell signing off for Wildcat TV. Back to you guys in the studio. Great job finding an actual couple. Hope their Valentine's Day is a good one. Amy and Sydney are going to tell you how you can enjoy Valentine's Day without breaking the bank. For you lovebirds trying to have a memorable Valentine's Day that doesn't break the bank, we've come up with some cool, inexpensive dates. The best way to someone's heart is through their stomach, so cook dinner together. It's fun to spend time as a couple, and you even get some delicious food out of it. Or you could end up getting hit in the face with a chicken nugget. One of the most romantic dates is a simple movie night. Some movies will be emotional, and you will have to comfort your partner, other times, you will come across a movie that will get you a little fired up. And by a little fired up, I mean a lot. Video games can be a fun way to bond with your significant other, or you can end up battling to your death. Just be sure you don't let a game end your relationship. In a relationship, you are all in this together. Karaoke is a fun way to explore your inner superstar and test the limits of your relationship. Don't forget to share the spotlight. While relationships can be hard, you shouldn't expect it to be perfect. You have to learn to laugh at the little things. Take time to enjoy each other's company and never take life's little moments for granted. I hope everyone has a safe and happy Valentine's Day. I hope those scenarios turn out better for you guys. Well, that wraps up another edition of Wildcat TV on Comcast 15 and 18 to verse 99. Remember, as always, it's a great day to be a Wildcat. Yeah. <laughs>